Hi everyone, welcome to AFT's Dialogue. So in this series, you're going to have episodes where I am going to talk about specific matters and I guess share my insight or my opinions on them. And I'm also going to introduce you to different players among around the community as they're willing and want to talk. So in this episode, it's going to be a rant by me where I'm talking about dealing with online rage. So first off, I do need to point out Online rage is very real, obviously. Everyone gets frustrated when they're playing online. When there's an external influence, such as lag, affecting your gameplay, then it can be very frustrating. And it's okay to get frustrated. It's okay because if you're getting frustrated, it shows that it means something to you. And it means, you know, you've probably invested a fair amount of time into the game, you've probably figured out different options, and suddenly lag comes into play, and you cannot do what you expect to be able to do. There is human error involved, but when there's an external factor affecting things, that can be very frustrating, and I can definitely relate to that. I think anybody can that plays online. With that in mind, I think sometimes people take it a bit too far. We attack, we say personal things, and that's just not appropriate. So I, I don't think that you should let a game, I don't think you should let any video game or any game in general um, cause you to attack another person. It shouldn't result in you saying anything personal to try and slander the person, insult them or any way. Um, the other thing you've got to remember is everything that's in the game is designed to be used. There's no such thing as playing cheap or playing in a different way. We're all just playing to have fun at the end of the day. And what that entails is very subjective. So it's really up to you and it's up to the opponent. So we're playing a game where people are versing each other. Obviously what people enjoy doing is going to differ from person to person a lot. And that does not mean that they're trying to personally attack you. I think a lot of the time we, we objectify our opponents online. So we, because we're behind a screen, because we're not sitting beside them like we are at the arcades or just at offline events, we suddenly think this, this is some jerk trying to attack me they're they're personally making well, they're personally trying to make me have less fun therefore i should be mean to them i don't know it's it's a funny thing but i know it's very easy to do and i think road rage is quite a similar thing i've said that to a few people before people are far more likely to be angry at people when you're in a different car and you'll you'll yell and scream and i mean that's depicted in media all the time and online gaming is a lot more modern than that of course but Online rage is kind of like modern day road rage, isn't it? For, for a lot of people. And if you, instead of objectifying the person, instead of thinking that they're trying to attack you, if you realise they're just another human being and they're just trying to enjoy the game as well, I think you can keep a lot calmer through it all. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is, I, I can't remember who it was, but I did read at one point, this, um, this analogy about the final boss. So Tekken is a hard game. It's a very hard game, isn't it? And fighting games in general are very hard. So imagine... Imagine you've gotten up to, I don't know, the, the Devil Kazumi boss in this Tekken, I guess. Do I have a mod for that? No, I don't. Um, the Devil Kazumi boss, and you're having so much trouble beating them because anything you block they launch they just so anything you would anything you do they block and they punish you it's driving you a mad and you block for a second you get thrown you stand block you eat a low you crouch you get launched right away and that's infuriating but then you find out that i don't know you find out something like with nina if you just do forward three over and over again they don't the the boss doesn't know how to deal with it and it'll just keep getting hit so if you're getting very frustrated with it and you've just been stuck on it for ages and you don't know what to do and you find this one thing that works, would would you not use it? Now, if you go into an online game and you're versing an opponent and you can't find anything to do, anything you try just gets blocked, you get launched, you, you don't have the control over any situation, but you find one option that works. So you use it over and over and the opponent cannot figure out what to do. Are you doing it to antagonize the opponent or are you doing it because it's the same as you would do against a final boss? Because in a player versus player game, the final boss is often weaker than an opponent, isn't it? Even if they're frustratingly strong, a real opponent is tougher. So if you can find something that works, wouldn't you use it? 
as long as it's not breaking the game, as long as you're not deliberately cheating, but using the same move over and over again, or spamming as I guess people call it, it's, it's a part of the game, and unless the character is very, very strong to an unreasonable level, usually moves have a weakness, so it's about, it's on the opponent to try and figure out what to do about it. So, I mean, that can be very frustrating, but you've got to think about it. So, you are your opponent's final boss, and your opponent is your final boss. You're, you're trying to win, and if it was deliberately a final boss, you and your friend would be sitting there, and you've struggled, but you've figured out forward three works, you use forward three over and over, you'd be high-fiving because you're happy, right? But suddenly, if it's your versing your opponent, and it's the other way around, you know, they might have been you 20 games, and then suddenly you beat them one game because you've done that. They won't high five you and congratulate you. They'll suddenly go, "Oh, you only won because you spam that move," and it's once again, it's because we're not looking at it right. We're looking for excuses. Um, anyway, I like that analogy. So think of it as your your opponent's final boss, and you need to figure out you need to figure out how to beat that final boss. And the scary thing is that they're going to adapt. So something like four three over and over again with Nina may seem strong at first, but it gets weak very quickly. So, <laughs> keep that in mind. We'll go random. Oh, there we go, Arctic Snowfall. Anyway, so there, that's some of my insight into dealing with online rage. The other thing is, you might remember I was getting very frustrated with the game online a while ago, and a lot of it was because of input delay and just inconsistencies. I even did a video where I was demonstrating all the inputs that were being eaten while I was playing. Like I'd do a 1-2 and only the 1 would come out or only the 2 would come out. And you could clearly see on my inputs I did 1-2 and it's just because of input delay and lag and things that suddenly that didn't work. That was driving me crazy. But sometimes it's good to take a bit of a break. Sometimes it's good to just take a deep breath, reflect on the situation, realize it's just a game. And maybe if that's a bit tough, maybe set some constraints. So I took a bit of a break when I was having a lot of trouble with that and I made sure that every opponent I versed was just a first to five when I played online. And with it being a first to five, whether I won or lost, I could have, maybe there were games where I could have got a promotion chance or maybe, you know, I could have got heaps of points and ranked, but does that really matter? No. Um, the thing is, it helped me keep a calm mind and it helped me stay willing to play the game online again. So sometimes setting up these constraints can be a great idea. In the game itself, of course, there are no constraints. So anything that happens, such as spamming, as I said before, they're all self-defined constraints. Anything we do is a self-defined constraint unless it's actually impossible in the game or restricted in the game somehow. Now, this is a setting that I never use, nobody ever uses that I know of, but it's to practice input delay offline. I don't know why you'd do that, but um, I guess it's for if you live with a very bad connection and this is the best you expect. Like if from Australia, if I was expecting to have a big match against someone in America, maybe I could practice in one bar. <laughs> I don't know, I never would. So let's, actually let's start with five bar. So I'm going to use while standing one as an example here. So let's just do Jap combo. That's easy enough in 5 bar, I can do that very comfortably. Let's go to 4 bar. I can already feel that, it feels heavy. Yeah, suddenly this is very difficult. But still doable. But even just backdashing, I can feel the game feels very sluggish to me. And that's frustrating. Now we're on 3 bar. I can feel it. It doesn't feel too different to the 4 bar. But let's see if I can do this. Oh yeah, that feels bad. That feels very bad. Can I even do this in 3 bar? I feel like I'm hitting it like a day before it needs to come out. What about 2 bar? So you can see it, look, it looks, looks like I'm doing things here, but Oh, that feels so slow. Okay, can I even get a side step one? Yeah, I can. Oh, wow. So this is suddenly, it's like, I feel like I'm wearing like ankle and wrist weights. <laughs> this is infuriating. 
I didn't even try and do a while standing one there because my brain was too I'm um, too fixated like I'm having to focus so much on what's happening because there's a disconnect from what I'm seeing on the screen and what I'm pressing because it's like such a delay I don't think I can do it in this okay I need to try I need to try oh, come on I need to okay okay I heard a trick this is from the Nina discord I heard close your eyes don't watch the screen and do it so I got one <laughs> nah <laughs> <laughs> this is oh 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 that was close okay I'm having to do it so much earlier though this is hard come on come on we can do it nah okay let's look at one bar like just for a comparison Okay, this is going to be impossible. Yeah, it, it's impossible. I, I cannot do it in this connection. Now, in the same like, you get online and... Oh, I didn't even know I pressed a button. <laughs> in the same like, you get online and you're versing an opponent and... Oh, we should really go to Brian for this, shouldn't we? No offense to Brian players. None at all. But let's say let's get a mix up between Snake Edge and Unblockable. Nah, Snake Snake Edge and I don't know. Oh, did it again. What the Let's go Snake Edge and back one. What the? Like it's get, it's it's eating the delay. Okay, well that's easy to block, but it's because it's I don't know. It's definitely it's harder because I can't step. So suddenly, if I'm trying to step something. Oh, there we go. That's because I'm pressing it before. Like, if I'm trying to backdash step, that's that's tricky. So trying to focus on it all, very tough. I don't know how you should have step. <laughs> yeah, that's... You need to react so much faster. Like I did before the backdash and raise my hand, it's showing that I don't have the time. So suddenly, things that shouldn't work or shouldn't be strong become so much better because you can't react to them or you physically see it but you can't do anything about it and that's infuriating isn't it so what do we do we take a deep breath there's nothing saying we need to keep playing if we're finding the connection tough we can just relax we can realize it's nothing serious it's just a game the points don't matter this is just whose line is it anyway online isn't it so you might get a promotion, but who really cares? The rank doesn't really matter at all. Do you earn anything from getting the rank in game? Don't think so. Unless you get to you get like a an achievement for getting to first down or something, don't you? Which I think everyone is now starting on since season three. So you literally get nothing. You get you can boast about a rank, that's it. So don't let it get to you too much. Okay, well that was a little bit of a demonstration of how the lag affects things, which can be very frustrating. It's infuriating even trying to do that stuff in practice mode. <laughs> Imagine doing a real match against a real opponent, it's suddenly you've got so much to focus on, and the, dis the disconnection between what you see and what you press means that you, fo you have to focus so much harder to do anything as well. Oh boy. <laughs> um, so let's go through just a little bit of a key summary of the things in this video that I've talked about. So I've mentioned, so lag is frustrating, there's no denying that. It's okay to be frustrated with the game though. Frustration 
demonstrates passion. It shows that you, you value the game, you've put effort and time into the game and you want to see the fruit of your labor. That's fine, that's good. But don't make it personal, okay? Don't attack other people, there's no reason. We keep objectifying our opponents and behind a screen, like I said, it's kind of like road rage. It's modern day road rage. So do not do that. Try and realize it's a human being on the other side. I talked about the final boss analogy, where if you have a final boss that you cannot beat, you struggle so much, and suddenly you realize something like Nina's forward three over and over and over again works. Why not do it? If it works, it works, right? And if you are sitting with your friend and you do that and you beat the boss that you've been stuck on for like half an hour or whatever, you two will probably high five afterwards or you'd celebrate, wouldn't you? But if you're versing your friend and you beat them by doing that, you, they wouldn't celebrate with you. They wouldn't acknowledge that you've won. They'd go, oh, you only won because you spammed or oh, that was cheap or so on and so forth. And that's that's just rage and it's the same sort of thing as when we're behind a screen regardless of what happens the rage comes in the excuses come in don't bring down another person's achievements acknowledge they're a human being and if they achieve anything that's great okay I think the message here is positivity the other thing I mentioned is putting constraints on yourself so if you're finding things tricky take a break there's nothing saying that you need to keep versing the opponent like I did, I put a first to five constriction or restraint on my matches and that helped me a lot, helped me continue playing the game. How about, you, how about I get you guys to comment below how you guys deal with online rage because a lot of people deal with it and it is infuriating playing online sometimes, but we have to deal with it in, I guess, in an adult manner and in, you know, in a healthy manner. You can get frustrated, but don't take it out on other people. Don't take it out on yourself either. Figure out that it's just a game and just figure out how to, to relax and enjoy the game. Even if you've got things like lag at play, it can still be fun. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, everyone. I'm a friendly tree. I've been your host for this episode and every other episode. <laughs> Catch you next time. See ya.